if only you were here for the break, we were having a lot of fun on set. Without winning an overwhelming majority of black voters, President Biden loses. It is really that simple. Poll after poll, though, show him hemorrhaging support among that very important group. Here you go. Biden has lost 23% of the black vote since 2020. Donald Trump has gained 10%. Today, his campaign launched Black Voters for Biden-Harris in Pennsylvania. It's the third or fourth reset with black voters in the last two years. Here's President Biden speaking at that event. And then Trump tells you he's the greatest president. I love this one. He says he's the greatest president for black people in the history of America, including more than Abraham Lincoln. I mean, can you fathom that? We're in the hell. Like I said, I think he injected too much of that bleach in his country. Sean Spicer, News Nation contributor, host of the Sean Spicer Show. We got a chuckle out of him. Scott Bolden, News Nation contributor, lawyer, and former D.C. Democratic Party Chairman General. Good to see you. Got a chuckle out of me, too. Yeah. Oh, did I? Yeah, we oh, both good. chuckled. Double chuckle. Okay. <laughs> well, that's, that's good. We'll just keep it going throughout the segment. Uh, Scott, you're entitled to your own opinions, not your own facts on this program. <laughs> Can we all agree that Joe Biden right now has a problem with African-American voters? He's got a challenge with African-American voters and Why? brown voters, too. I think because the issues, the tabletop issues, the economy are affecting all of us, one. And two, the administration hasn't been great at communicating a more positive message. And three, the Democrats tend to... Um, ignore black voters except when it's election time, whether that's real or perceived. And I th also think this. I think younger voters have a strip of conservative or culture conservatism. Uh, I was just reading Na Nationscape did a study on this. And they, they, they are those who want the Democratic Party to talk more about civil rights, about health disparities, as well as gun violence, which we can all agree on is a challenge in America, especially in our communities, our poor yeah. communities. No, uh, disproportionately affects. And so Biden's got to do more work and shore up his base. All right, so here's what he's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, he stopped the menthol cigarette bans. He's eased marijuana rules, pardoned a bunch of people for marijuana, and now is going to deschedule it as a, a federal dr issue. Student debt cancellations. Uh, he spoke overwhelmingly about infrastructure investments in black and brown communities. Mm -hmm. He's worked on police reform and has obviously continued to press hard on affirmative action, all of these things. Uh, Sean Spicer, this is what Donald Trump says is the reason for his success with black voters. Take a listen. My, my, the mugshot, we've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. You see black people walking around with my mugshot. You know, they do shirts and they sell them for $19 a piece. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> I don't know if he got a sympathy laugh from that crowd or what exactly it was. That said, especially with younger African Americans, may not be the, the mugshot, but with younger male African Americans, he's tapped into something. What is it? I think it's more of the economic message, uh, this idea of hope and prosperity, the idea that it's not just government that's the answer to everything. Um, I, I think that that's that's actually the difference. Where you're seeing is young male African Americans who believe in the American dream, want to do something, want to build a business, and look and see the opposite, which is the, the Biden administration and Democrats in general pandering to them, saying it's more government when, in fact, they want less government. You see, this demographic is young black men, and I think that they're, they actually don't like getting grouped into a big whole pot and saying, this is what you all want, more government, more this, more that. I think, actually, they want more opportunity. Interestingly enough, and I know you said that that the you mugshot would comment that was I would respectfully disagree with you. No, but I actually think most of what I, I agree I with would, a lot of what yeah. Scott said. I just think that if you actually look, it's not that uh, and, and as much as I'd like us to be better doing better with with the entire segment uh, of that group of Americans. I think that why it's young black men in particular is because they've got an entrepreneurial spirit in them where they want to build a business and they want to say, I don't need the government. I actually need less government intervention. I need more opportunity. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.